Good evening, everybody, again. This is the Reverend. The theme here. Great Mouse One. With this mouthful. Theory 515. Yeah, <laughs> again, we are just four middle aged guys. We count it. Four middle aged guys. Um, four middle aged guys. Because that would have been eight. <laughs> All right. Uh, bullshitting about nothing. Uh, Geek Week in Review. A lot of things happen in the world of gaming. Uh, one of the things that uh, we're going to go ahead and revisit is actually a continuation of uh, something that happened last week. But since we didn't do videos last week, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to catch up and recap. On the 14th, uh, basically what happened is that one of the Microsoft's executives, basically uh, Chris Charla, director of ID at Xbox, um, made an announcement saying that Microsoft was open to uh, basically cross-platform gaming uh, and being able to sit there and play multi multiplayer gaming games between the Xbox One and PS4 and PC and whoever else is a publisher and developer want to go ahead and jump in. All righty. Which, basically, that's great. Uh, a lot of people heard that and they're like, dude, that's cool. Uh, a lot of folks who, who heard that was like, dude, that's cool, but what do the other the uh, developers think about it? What do the other publishers think about it? Is Nintendo or Sony, are they willing to play along? Well, fast forward to the 17th, uh, just two days ago. Um, let's see here. I believe it was uh, Shuhei Yoshida, if I remember correctly. Yeah. He said on the 17th that Sony would indeed entertain the thought of doing cross-platform ga gaming. And I quote uh, from the article with uh, Eurogamer uh, during, the, um, during the interview that they had. He said, uh, let's see here. We've been doing that with PS3 and PC, PS4 and PC, mostly recently with Street Fighter V and Rocket League and other games. That's, mm -hmm. that's nothing new for us in terms of working with developers and publishers. <laughs> allow cross-platform play between PC and PS4, all right? Um, he went on to say that because PC is an open platform, it's much more straightforward, but connecting two different closed networks is much more complicated, so we have to work with developers and publishers to understand what it is they are trying to accomplish. We've also, we also have to look at the technical aspect, and the technical aspect could be the easiest. We also have to look at policy issues and business issues as well. Uh, in the end, he closed out saying that he would ha they would have to go ahead and consider it, and they would have to see if it's in Sony's best interest to do it. You know, this is actually a really good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the idea of uh, there being cross-platform gameplay for uh, um, people who have plat uh, excuse me, console, consoles and everything else. Um, what do you guys think? Where to where to begin with that? Um, especially if all, especially if it's going to be the big three. Yeah. If the big three joins that, and along with PC <laughs> gamers join that, the only problem that there will be is that well, all of them have the same fucking games. You got to remember, there are a lot of third party games that are not available for each and every motherfucking console. That's yeah. like okay, King of Fighters isn't going to Xbox. <laughs> Tekken 7 isn't going to fucking Xbox One. Xbox One will really have to step up on their third party certain on having certain games to come here and to be on their fucking console in order for this to be possible. Not just your traditional Call of Duties or um, fucking Maddens or anything like that, but it will have to they will have to bring in certain other fucking games too in order to accommodate that. And I, I think it's a great fucking idea that will just launch more fanboy wars. <laughs> yeah, I'm on an Xbox One. Oh, yeah, PS4. Forever. All that bullshit. Yeah. Um, I, actually, I actually think the opposite. I Actually, I think that will cool down the, the console wars. I mean, because um, just like... Well, people uh, will openly announce what console that, you're, that they're on. And correct. Stuff. Then that becomes a problem. Yeah. But like yeah. like Terry said in the previous video, though, that um, with the cross platforming, um, there's really no reason for anybody to own a PlayStation Four if they own an Xbox One, if or or vice versa. Either way, well, with, for their for their first party games, for that yeah, yeah for that multi plat game. 
Now, well, for multiplayer games, people don't do that anyway. You know, people will get well, no, because, and the other. I mean, they're not going to. Okay, wait. If you're well, going to have a PS4 and an Xbox One, you're not going to have the same exact games on both. Well, it, well, like like for uh, the the previous generation, the eighth generation. You know, the um, seems like the multi-plat games were better on the Xbox 360. However, that has flipped this generation, and um, I mean the seventh generation. I'm sorry, the eighth generation, the current generation. Um, the it's flipped. You know, the better multi-plat games are actually on the PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox One. So, I mean, it is the same game to an extent, but, you know, like you said, you got this extra DLC for the PlayStation 4 or, or Xbox One. You got different characters or whatever that won't. So, you know, having a multi-plat game, a multi or cross-platform game, you're right. They're, they're absolutely going to, it wouldn't be fair for me to play Akuma on my PlayStation 4, but somebody on the I'll Xbox One has Mech Akuma or, or whatever. You know what I mean? It just—it's not fair to have a character that that would be fucked up. Be like, all right, it's, it's, yeah, it's we, most likely has more than this one, and then it's like, okay, what the fuck? Well, well here's I, the thing: I, I if cross-platform to... happens, all that's gonna come to an end. There'll oh, be no yeah. more of those deals with and with it, with Call of Duties coming out on you know, DLC coming out first here, then they have to wait a month, absolutely. or certain well, characters coming out here, and then they gotta wait a month. All that's gonna come to an end once cross platform starts, for, if that happens. For the example I use, I used the most rudimentary um, example so everybody can understand. And of course, and I agree one hundred percent, theory that that's gonna have to stop. And are the are Sony and Microsoft willing to stop their exclusive download of content to go you know, for well, multi plat games? Well, well, Microsoft doesn't get a whole lot of content starting out. This You're absolutely right. This and, time anyway. and that's one thing that, that I think that, excuse me, my personal opinion is that the only person who would really benefit for this is the Xbox. Because PlayStation 4 got everything on lock already. It, it's, look. Wouldn't say uh, everything. It, it, look. It is on lock. It is much more on lock than Xbox One. Xbox, That's because Xbox One, One has totally stopped. Man, Xbox One don't know his butt from the hole in the ground right now. I mean, it, they're, they're, they're so wishy-washy. They're almost like Charlie Brown of the gaming industry right now. They're so wishy-washy. No, 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 because most of the things that happen to Charlie Brown isn't his fault. <laughs> <laughs> you got a valid point. He's got a point there. But no, 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 but that damn Lucy always look. That is his fault. He keeps falling for that same stupid shit. But anyway, no, that's just his naivete. The, no. Anyway, that anyway, I agree one hundred percent. I do like the, the cross platforming. It's a great idea. Like I was telling you guys earlier, is that I think there's going to have to be a um, third party network or a third party running it that Xbox and Sony and Nintendo and PC, you know, as all, you know, fairly represented because I don't think anybody would allow one single, the big three to run the network. So, you know, there, there's some technical issues. Wait a minute. What about the VR situation? I got a question for you guys. <laughs> Go ahead, Derry. I, I, got, I, got, I got a slight oh, side no. question about that. Um, as far as far as cross platform goes, how does the subscription fee is going to start working out? It's, well, I don't see it because changing at if all. it's the big I, three. I Nintendo's doing theirs for free. That's Microsoft true. is getting theirs for sixty bucks. Well, and so and is PlayStation. PlayStation's four. doing theirs for fifty. Well, see the thing no, is, there's a problem. 50. PlayStation Three is going to have to be left out because right now PlayStation Three is is they don't need a plus. PlayStation Three is on its way out. Huh? PlayStation 3 no. is on its way out. I, I think we're talking about no. PS3 is always bad. Oh, oh, I thought you said Four. PlayStation 3. You said PC? I mean, oh. I mean, just, just PlayStation Plus, period. Yeah. Well, PSN in general Four has the is plus 50 bucks. For $60. Yeah. Xbox Live is $60. Mm -hmm. The only thing with, like you said, mentioned Nintendo. No, PS4 is not 60 huh? PSN isn't 60 PSN oh. is 50 how much? PSN, PSN is 50. It's 50, not 60. Yeah. Okay. PSN plus. And then you've got Nintendo. Yeah. Well, but, Skittle. 
Here, that's that's the thing, you know. What they were, what what Shuhei Yoshida, Yoshida went ahead and he was addressing was he was saying that uh, the physical setting up the technology to go ahead and ha actually have the networks talk to each other, that's not actually the hard part. Okay, it's the same thing that you have to worry about with my T Mobile phone, you know, reaching over to somebody else's phone on Sprint or Verizon or anything else. It's just networks talking to each other. Okay. Well, now, as far as a third-party third party service or something like that, that sort of responsibility, they're probably going to sign it over to the publishers, okay? And this is, that's another third wall that people have to sit there and consider. We don't have, have just the first-party publishers, you know, Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony going out of their way saying that, hey, we got to sit there and open up our networks in order to, to have this cross-platform cross play. The developers themselves and the publishers have to sit there and sign on to saying, okay, are we going to be cool with developing and making sure that everything's going to connect, uh, you know, across all the platforms? Our, our net code is good enough to go ahead and negotiate that. And if anything comes down as far as uh, policies or rules, you know, terms of use and anything, in, in other words, all the legalese that goes in with end user license agreements, that wall of fucking text and everybody just scrolls through and hits mixed on. All right. You know, it could say something about, you know, every third month we require a pint of your blood and a, a semen sample. All right. But people say yes anyways. All right. You know, but you know, yeah, because the, the, the thing about it is that setting up the technology to talk to each other, that's already particular, yeah, that particular uh, infrastructure is already in place. What they're what they're really going to spend a lot of time spinning their wheels on is just legalese. If something bad happens, who is liable? Okay. Well, one thing too is that they got to consider is that is the PlayStation Network and the Xbox One Network and the Nintendo Network are they able to to accept all this extra load? You know what I mean? Because somehow, you know, you have. 35 million people on PlayStation Network, is that going to be, are you going to be able to connect all those on the Xbox Live Network? You know, yes. it's, going to be, it's going to be a load on, you know what I mean, on the networks. It's all, it's all really going to be handled at its core, peer to peer, all right, console to console. Oh, yeah, it's going to be, that's, yeah. that's what the rules are. And that's also, if you think about it, the other uh, cloud infrastructures, you've got the Microsoft Cloud, all right, or Microsoft Blue, as they call it, which they're going to, they've been wanting to go ahead and launch onto Windows uh, 10 and everything else. Anything else is connected to Windows. Uh, and then with Sony, you have Gaikai, which is located right in, um, uh, I think, right in Irvine, right in Tustin. You know, they're going ahead and they're setting up their cloud services for, for PSN. Um, that's probably going to play a part of it, but at its core, it's still going to be peer to peer. So, so if it's peer to peer, then they could do that standby bullshit like they did in Halo too. No, I mean the standby bullshit is that's <laughs> that's all just their their servers getting getting slammed and everything else and at opening and and all that other stuff. All right, it's it's stuff that's like I said the the technology and the protocols and everything else they exist already. Okay, the the problem is. Can Microsoft Microsoft's lawyers agree to something that Sony's lawyers and Nintendo's lawyers and everybody else writes up? Okay. Well, we are already gonna, have yeah. Microsoft bending and breaking due to utter shit. Well, you know that's that yeah, but that's not anything that they're that they're sitting there and saying that they're going to be paying for though. All right, if they're going to sit there and they're going to they're really going to. The one thing that everybody has to consider is that when they, when Sony opens up their doors and they say, hey, look, in order for you to con communicate to our stuff, this is how we work. And they have to open up their doors and show them, hey, this is our base net code. This is our infrastructure here. Okay. Same thing with Microsoft. They've got to, they've got to do a whole game of show me yours and I'll show you mine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's the same thing as uh, the FBI and Apple. Well, 
<laughs> no, 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 because the FBI don't have to show you nothing. Your shit. No, no the, FBI, <laughs> the FBI was 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 saying, hey, look, that's your car. Give me your keys. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's, who's that's to say that? Sony doesn't say that shit to Microsoft. Yeah, you know. Well, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right now, Microsoft isn't holding a whole lot of cards. <clears throat> That's that, that was the that was my main point that I made at the beginning. It's like nobody's to benefit except Microsoft. So why would Sony do this? Like, uh, why not? Yeah, but no. Well, well here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Ultimately, they may not have a whole lot to gain for it, but it would make the people already having PS4s happy. Well, and and one thing too is they that hey, 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 look, Sony have a good one. Sony can play the good guy card. Say, "Hey, look, I'm the good guy. I'm the one who opened up." You know what I mean? That's the only thing that I could think. I mean, of course, they're going to acknowledge that Microsoft. They'd be stupid for not just acknowledging it, which they did. Which I expected it. I mean, did anybody not expect it in this room? Did you expect Sony not to say anything? But even after the, all this, even if it does come to pass and cross cross play is allowed. People are not just going to hang with one console. People are going to get what they feel has the best exclusives at that point. Yep. People are still going to gravitate to that. Yep. Mm -hmm. People are going to still gravitate to what provides them the best experience. So it's not going to ruin one or the other. It's just going to allow them to play the same games that no. just happen I, that both just happen to have. And yeah. I, I, just happen to have. I don't I think agree. there's going to be too many of them, to be honest. And because, I'm not saying it's going to run anybody. I mean, no. They, what I'm saying is, you know, I don't think it's going to benefit one more than the other. But look at Nintendo's third party as it is. Do you actually think that they're going to launch that third party is actually going to come back in order for it to be possible for them? I don't think so. Don't well, know. it depends on what happens with the NX. Absolutely. Yeah. This is yeah, I mean, because again, again we don't party. know a whole lot about it. You know what I mean? They could they could have made a console so nice that that third party's like okay we can jump back on this you they know what i mean called the DM. It's, called the DM. <laughs> it's possible it's not likely it's possible. no but he's you right know. it is called a ds yeah mm -hmm. i'm just saying you know they did all right yeah. it's funny how yeah. ds has more third party than the actual wii u well people didn't want to develop for the wii u yeah but they were developing a DS. That was yeah. point. Oh yeah, I mean the, yeah, but the Wii U. I mean, I'm ult ultimately, let's, put, just, and let's just come right out and say the Wii, Wii and the Wii U had the most controllers console. ever. You know what? I don't think Nintendo's going to play ball. That's just my personal opinion. It's going to be. Nintendo like, don't have to. Sony. They don't have to. That's what I'm saying. Neither does Sony. But I mean, what? Well, wait. But what if Nintendo does? What if third party comes back and then they still have their killer first party? Yeah, oh, yeah. Nintendo no, be like, that puts Nintendo on a very good. Oh yeah, that'll bring that elevate Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will be the only yeah. one that will actually help at this point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Have all... I mean, honestly, as far as Nintendo jumping back onto that, as for as far as online play, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen for for uh, their home console. I really don't think it's going to happen for the home console. Now, if you if they go ahead and Capcom releases out uh, a brand new Monster Hunter for the PSP and the 3DS that they want people to go ahead and play cross-platform. I could see that. Oh, excuse me, the Vita. The Vita. All right. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I was thinking about a console with uh, a portable with games. Okay, excuse me. All right. There are games um, on the Vita, man. Games that I wouldn't play. <laughs> that aren't on the PS4? <laughs> uh, yes, actually, since I've you know I've been in Japan, they, they got a whole section on the, that's Japan though, so it's different here. Last on your time, on your on your game pickups, we don't see Vita games there. Last time I checked, Dang and Rapa and Criminal Girls, uh, is, what's that? Uh, is in multiplayer. Okay, <laughs> that, that's all I got to say. But anyway, yeah, I don't see a Monster Hunter doing that though. I mean, if, no, if it does, that would be up to Capcom. Possibly, yeah. and and mm -hmm. again, yeah, like like the theme said. Ultimately, that will probably be up to Capcom. That's if these folks go ahead and they decide to play ball. Okay. Now, can I see on indie games, um, you know, uh, indie games that are on the Wii U or or the 
or, or the 3DS being able to, to play with uh, other indie games on PC. Um, actually, that's a good possibility. If you think okay. about it. Race the Sun 2 multi crossplay. Oh, okay. no. Oh, there's, wow. already, there's already a, there's, there's already a game now. that's pretty much, you know, <laughs> there's a game that's, that's asking to be connected across all platforms right now. It's called Rocket League. Okay? Yes. All right. Yeah. You can cross I really play that game, please. Okay. Play all right. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. For, for the three of you and anyone yeah. who's watching this, if you have not played Rocket League, play it. Play it. Play still it. Still a PS4, still an Xbox One, break into somebody's house and use their, their PC. I don't play Rocket League. that, but play it. Yeah, but don't break into somebody's house, take their shit, and then go home and still use their Wi Fi. Oh my <laughs> God, dude. I laughed my ass off about that article. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? <laughs> wow. But that yeah, was Rocket League. Hilarious. Play Rocket League Rocket is, is asking yeah. for that. Oh my God. Play it. Yeah. Already wait, wait, here's one thing I'm going to input on that. Yeah. What if the NX does come out and does get third party, you get crossplay, and the Amiibos are still... Are still in play? Yes. Ooh. They will be. That I'm sure be the NX will support Amiibos. You mean know what happen On their fucking... Games. If you know what would happen before I, that? Uh, you know what would happen before that? Before the Amiibo play would happen, is that you you've got your Lego games, your Disney games, and your fucking Skylander games. That will and be all, all. All those dudes play? sitting there fucking playing. All right. They mm-hmm. got their portals and everything. Oh, you know? yep. The Lego games are on every system. I mean, every hey. system. Hey, Islanders. I got Skylanders ready to go right now. Hey. We can do I it. Got right Lego here. Games Fuck it. Let Portal 3 come out for everything and just. <laughs> yes. Fuck it. Yeah. Why yeah. not? I mean, well, it's ultimately, 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 this whole cross platform thing is not a bad idea. No, no, right. Not at all. There, 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 are, there are very few to little downsides to this happening. Okay. All right. It's just collaboration at this point. All right. This, this, is, this is something that gamers have been asking for since the Here. conception. Of consoles, all right. Well, Super Nintendo Genesis days. Well, well, aside from play on the Super Nintendo. There you go. <laughs> Could you yes, imagine Mario that. Kart on the Genesis? What's up? <laughs> no, over absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> or or uh, what's that called? Uh, uh, Could you imagine Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo? Oh wait. Oh, wait, there was... Wait, no, there's not. Wait. No, there wasn't. Mortal Kombat 2 was, was compatible on the X-Play. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Think what, about that. What about, uh, what about yeah. a Wipeout on Nintendo? Wipeout 64. Mm-hmm. That actually happened. That's not... Yeah, yeah but no. Ridge Racer 64. That actually happened. Thug. No. No. Hey. Actually, That's actually, not a Wipeout game. Actually, dude. you should go and play it. Yeah, no. You, you you actually should. It's still a wipeout. It's still a it's still a ridge racer. Go and go and play them. I can't, man. <laughs> Not at, no, I'm sorry, dude. No. Yeah, you should go play Castlevania 64 too while you're at it. Um, my level of respect. I have that game over there. <laughs> I just don't like throwing games away. So I I look no. It will never enter my Nintendo 64 again. <laughs> I still have John Elway's quarterback over there. I still have the Rocketeer on the NES. I won't <laughs> sell them or throw them away. <clears throat> They're just bad experiences that I could just share. Uh-huh. You know? And I know Shaq Fu's still in my mom's house somewhere. So, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, I, I understand. Oh, so you're getting ready for the sequel? <laughs> Dad, no. <laughs> And that's going to be multi-platform. My level of respect. Oh, Lord. Shaq Fu, multi-platform. multi cross Oh, oh yeah. wow. A game that everybody can play that nobody's going to play. Yeah, you know, all all console gamers can hate it equally. <laughs> <laughs> and the PC right. Don't they already? <laughs> oh, but somebody hell. out there has got to love it. You do this, and they will come out with certain games or bring genres back in full force. Come on, man. I mean, can you imagine? Simulator. 
Could you imagine a, a, a MOBA game as well? That would be yeah, a great game for cross-platform. Yeah. It really would. Yeah, they're supposed to be putting Smite on PS4 pretty soon. What, what? Smite's already on Xbox One. Yeah. And PC, so, I, mean, I believe. There's so, many, there's so much potential. But whether it comes to fruitation, that's up to, you know, the, 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 the big three and their publishers, you know? I mean, we've been, gamers have been asking, just like you said earlier, uh, Theory, the gamers have been asking since... The conception of gaming, pretty much, you know, or the rebirth of gaming, you know. I'll uh, say. <laughs> yeah. You see, how long do you think that this is going to take if it does actually come into play? You know what? And here's the scary thing: as somebody who who works with uh, uh, you know, developing mobile applications and everything, all all my applications, all the applications we work on, uh, work on client devices, and they don't work. They're they're literally useless if you're not if you're if you don't have a data feed to your phone. All right. Um, the scary thing about that is that if they really wanted to wanted it to fucking happen, they could have that up and running and all hashed out in probably six months or less. Damn. All right. You're like, saying like, almost right after E3 type of time the, frame. Huh? Like like, said, like the they could they could talk about it, get yeah, every, get all the details hashed out and have it done. Yep. Hold it. What Grey Mouse said, that will be the perfect time to unleash that at E3. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was thinking about that from the get-go. I was like, oh, this is going to be announced at E3. They're just what they did, and when they announced the game, it will that. be available for crossplay. Water. People will lose their minds. Oh, Jesus Christ, I just had a stroke about something. Oh, no. Yeah. Think about this. He just, uh, especially considering the water, dude. Of, of, of previous videos. Multi-platform cross-play available only on the PS4.5 or the brand new upgradable Xbox One. Oh no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! Oh, that would hurt. That's horrible. That yeah. would hurt. That that would That's be like ultra face palm right there. That would that, be like that would be the point. All the that gamers I would probably in the balls. I would probably. We trade in all my stuff. And, and only just for the, the new 3DS. PC Master Race, here I come. Oh. And, and, and look, I was thinking about that. No. Even, <laughs> even thinking about that, that shit makes my stomach turn. Yeah, no. Wow. <laughs> Damn it. I don't hey, want to. That's why we all have our retro shit, right? Yeah, I don't want to be the conspiracy theorist here, but I, like I said, I mean, we were all in high spirits. Yeah, we were all in high spirits until you mentioned that. Hey, but but you know what? You know what? Thinking about it, he's not wrong. Yeah. No, he's gotta, look, all I gotta say is, they call me the Reverend. I am here to preside over weddings. And to present eulogies, okay? That's all I gotta say. <laughs> so in between, there's my Bible the truth, okay? There. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Yeah. That would be horrible. Oh. Horrible. Nah, man. Nah, I, that, I can see that happening. Yeah. I can see it happening. Yeah. I can yeah. see it happening. Yeah. You know? Damn, talk what about, about the VR? Are they going to have actual compatibility with that shit, bro? Uh, <laughs> um, I don't that, know. That I that would be kind of tricky. Because yeah. um, the way HoloLens looks like right. it's supposed to work, and then the way VR is supposed to work for PS, it'd be a little weird. Yeah. But who knows? Yeah, that that one will be tricky. That one will be tricky. I know. I know for Oculus and VR, it's it's a little easier. Um, but if you're using like the Vive or you're using HoloLens, it gets a little tricky after that. Okay, yeah. Race to Sun 2, VR. Go ahead, do it. Make it. No, 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 not VR because I won't get it. <laughs> well, what, about the, um, what about the famous Sewer Shark? Oh. Sewer, sewer Shark 2. Uh. They'll bring, they'll be bringing oh, back Tomcat oh. Alley and and Prize Fighter also, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, you know what? Than... I'd play it. I'd, I'd play a 3D Hogan's Alley in VR. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> in all its 8-bit pixelated wow, glory. It. Sure. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll be seeing jagged pixels stabbing my pupils. <laughs> yeah. Fucking VR. Why not? <laughs> yeah, wild gunman, duck hunt. Ooh, a 360 duck hunt. If I could, if I still can't shoot that fucking dog, I'm not playing it, okay? Okay? See that fucker laughing in my face in fucking right. reality. No. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, I've got 30-year-old fucking memories of that. Fuck that dog, okay? Fuck that dog. Think, well, right. All of the us. The funny thing is that people still try to shoot that dog to this day. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fuck that dog. Well, he's so popular that they made an amiibo out of him. <laughs> yep. Yeah, fuck that yeah, dog. Now you can just fuck knock that. it off the TV. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the the whole cross platform thing that's a that's a novel idea. It's great, and uh, I think it'll benefit everybody, like you said, equally. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It would be very interesting, you know, and and I hope that reality doesn't happen. How about you have to have a Xbox One point or Xbox. 1.5 and a PlayStation 4.5 to play it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Uh, I'm sorry for bringing that up, but it's kind of right. no, 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 no need to apologize. Yeah, that's, that's, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, that is a big possibility though. You but, know. You know, I mean, I mean the reality is it's a viable option. That's yeah. something that could very well happen. Yeah. And with E3 coming up quickly, it could very well be shown up then. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the, and the truth of the matter is, is that the true upside is that, hey, look, that multiplayer pool of gamers who could actually go ahead and, and play against each other is, is going to fucking grow. All right? Yeah. Really, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be running into the, the, the scenario where it's like, there's nobody online for this fucking game anymore. No. No. If you have oh, enough people, enough people, people oh, those ranks wait a minute. That brings up another. That brings up another question. You know, like EA loves to close fucking servers. So what happens when are they going to have to close the servers for all platforms at that point? Maintenance. Yeah. Most no, 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 no. I'm not talking about maintenance. I'm talking about permanent closing. I'm talking about like. Oh yeah, that's that will definitely happen. No, that's a, that, the, see, EA is that's not a thing. console thing. That's not part of the big three. That's part of EA specifically. What yeah. they do is what they do. No, yeah. I, I know, the but way, they're going to have to close it for everybody. Yeah, and the thing is, is here, here's here's the silly silly thing about that is that you know when it when you go ahead and even consider the multiplayer games that they have on the consoles that aren't cross platform right now, guess what? All it takes is one fucking power switch for them to mm -hmm. do that. It's yeah, all the same yeah. Part. Or the EA is already capable of doing such a thing. Yeah, I mean, cause, you know, if you're thinking about it, what's that? Uh, FIFA, I guess. You know, FIFA or Pez, I guess. You know, those type of soccer games. You got, you could have multi. You could actually make up your team. Well, Konami. You have, yeah, you can make up your your whole soccer team or your whole volleyball team as human players. You know, I mean, it, there's fascinating things that you can do with it. Make up a whole baseball team. Make up a whole football team. Where you everybody where will you, cooperate. Yeah. An issue, but there's it opens the door for other possibilities for other gaming possibilities, and I'm all for that. You know what? I've been said, I said it many times before. I am 100% for options. I love options, options are the best thing, especially in gaming. You know, there's an option that I could do this, an option I could do that, except the option to get rid of everything. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. No. That's not an option, exactly. That's surrender. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, so, so there's there's great potential there, especially in sports games. I mean, even on NASCAR games as well. You know, I mean, you could you could actually form just like in NASCAR. You know, you form a team. You know, or whatever. Sports games and NASCAR games. According to Greenhouse, NASCAR is in the sport. Can't say I don't disagree. Hey, I didn't. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Golf is a sport. I guess maybe. So shooting marbles. All right. But I won't get paid millions of dollars for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, all righty. With our closing minutes, um, 
I think everybody can agree it's a, it's a good idea. And right now, it's just a, a wait and see proposition. We're we just got to see where the big three of the Microsoft, Nintendo, Sony, what are they going to do? Okay. And like everybody said, we'll probably be finding out sooner or later with the really interesting things coming up. Uh, news for GDC and then E3 later on in the year. So there's there's a lot of stuff to to find isn't, out. You know, isn't there another conference before? Um, uh, what do you call it before E3? Um, what is it? Uh, May maybe for maybe for individual companies. Yeah, I think that that I might have been else coming up too. I think that might have been uh, uh, Dice it, or Pax, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, no, um, I think Pax is later. Is, is oh, Pax, is, Pax is later. Yeah, yeah I think Pax is after um, E3, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Well, it's, there's different yeah. packs. You got your East Pax, your West Pax. And West well, Pax. there's East Pax, and then there's Prime, and um, there's, there's a couple of others. But yeah. I think all those take place after E3. Oh, okay. I think they usually take place afterwards. But well, Hey, stay tuned to this channel for all the information. I mean, we're, we're going to tell it like it is. You know, four middle-aged men talking about nothing. <laughs> yep. I mean, we're going to tell it like it is, even if it's a week later after the fucking uh, exactly. race. <laughs> but we're going to fucking talk about it. You know? Well, stay tuned to the individual channels, too, because we cover things that all the four of us don't cover as well. So Yeah. Yep. All right. With that, in closing minutes, folks, uh, thank you for staying with the video. Thank you for listening to us, Matt, and think out loud. Uh, once again, we are the four middle-aged dudes just bullshitting about nothing. All right. Four. All right. Uh, you know, the <laughs> comments below, hit subscribe, hit the upvote, hit the downvote, whatever you do, give us some sort of feedback. We just don't want to feel like we're talking to ourselves. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out already, I like the sound of my fucking voice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> With that, in closing, I am the Reverend. This is the theme here. This is Grey Mouse One. In theory, 515. Go ahead and close this out, theme. Credits. <laughs>